requiring. Um, I honestly think that it's really weird that this cap point is kind of on this side of the bridge. It does, I think, in my head, give the southern player a little bit of an advantage for exactly this reason. You can see uh, all these riflemen have to just kind of stand around here until the minesweepers get up. By the way, great use of minesweepers. Uh, minesweepers are something that you almost exclusively see used by professionals. Normal players don't get them because it's cost munitions and it's kind of a pain. You need to micromanage them and that sort of thing, but professionals always get them, so I love seeing top players do that sort of thing. So, looks like those engineers are moving in to cap the point. Uh, the riflemen up here in the upper right have scared away the pioneers and just a little bit of light fighting going on. Look at all these landmines. That's so cool. Just landmines everywhere. So lots of lots of defense. Fatherland HMD team with Sniper. Look at this positioning here. Now, I remember how I was saying that this map is so hard to control. Uh, again, I'm going to pause it just to uh, bring attention to this sort of stuff, but you can see Fatherland HMG team, huge range of fire there. In front is a sniper, and then we have barbed wire covering this. So he is completely capturing this left-hand side of the map. Really, really powerful positioning there. And uh, even even with all of this, uh, it looks like, oh, and, uh, and uh, laying some mines here once again here for Armor Knife, realizing that the first mines were successful. Uh, but once again, um, this was a good defense, but of course good players know how to get around barbed wire, so that does happen. A little bit of G-bagging going on here while he's dropping these sandbags in the middle of combat. That's pretty cool, knowing they're going to do a little bit of fighting. But uh, I really do like where Johnny Krypton has kind of drawn the, <laughs> drawn the line in the sand. This area right here, he's pretty much saying that uh, all I need is this. If I can keep the middle and the left, that's fine. This is the furthest I need. Anything above this point is, is yours, and I'll just make you fight for it. So, interesting strategy there. Bark and folks, my dears, moving out to the center. Uh, taking some pot shots at these minesweeper engineers who, uh oh, looks like they're kind of in uh, uncovered terrain there. Gonna have to retreat. Oh, taking a single casualty and now they're getting out of there. We'll have to see, is this mine gonna go off? Is this mine gonna go off? No, he's gonna cap that point first. Uh, looks like we have the flamethrower engineers and some wounded riflemen up here in the north with regular old riflemen backing them up. And you can see these distinguished grenadiers here are hanging out along with the Volkswagen and they're all just kind of doing their thing, putting some pressure here in the upper right. Terror Officer. Oh god, I love Terror Officer. By the way, haven't really taken taken a time yet to uh, go through all of Johnny Krypton's abilities here, but Inspired Zeal, Terror Officer, Force Retreat, Firestorm, Rocket Barrage, and King Tiger. Let's take a look at some of the skirmishing going on up here. Grenadiers here now, fighting away here. Oh, Engineers with Flamethrowers coming in, putting some serious pressure on these Grenadiers. Uh, burning everybody alive, they're running away, but he does activate Inspired Zeal. Once again, Inspired Zeal is a free ability. And uh, it buffs your units based on how many losses they've taken. So each of these uh, Grenadiers has two buffs on them uh, from that. Uh, increases a wide variety of stats depending on how you level it. But, uh, mmm, Terror Officer moving onto the field now. So I do love seeing Terror Officers. They are super fun. Uh, they camouflage. They can call down rocket barrages. You can upgrade them to execute people. But uh, honestly, I think at high levels of play, execute is cool but not necessary. And uh, check it out. Once again, Johnny Krypton responding in time with his own Minesweepers. Uh, taking out the mines on this bridge. And uh, these riflemen are unfortunately in a very exposed position. I'm trying to get across the bridge. Oh, and the sniper combination with all this infantry fire here. Sniper here with seven kills, putting pressure on these riflemen who are now going to have to retreat. And you can see while all that's been going on, uh, we've got the grenadiers here on the left and the folks grenadiers in the upper right, uh, capping all of this sort of stuff, forcing Armor Knife to kind of fight on his side of the field. And uh, putting a lot of pressure here. Oh, please retreat! No! And the Grenadiers go down! Oh, so sad. But doesn't matter. Uh, looks like these uh, Volksrangers are taking out all this sort of stuff. And they have a mine there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, totally reinforcing this area once again. Putting more mines down. Uh, this is just the constant, constant fighting going on here. Uh, looks like the Fodland HMG team is unfortunately shooting at the men across the river. Getting flanked out by flamethrowers. And it looks like the terror officer is here. Uh, trying his best not to get too warm. Bam! Oh, and there's an execute shot right there. You can see that little pistol. Uh, I don't think he's going to get a chance to do another one, but uh, it appears Johnny Krypton does have execute set up there. Normally it costs like 50 munitions, but you can put points into it to make it free. And it's just like a sniper shot. It instantly kills one unit, but it's got a little bit of cooldown, and uh, it is very close range. But it's kind of cool, you know, if you can micro it in battles, free kills all the time. Looks like uh, kind of an ill-fated attack here for Armor Knife, just barely getting suppressed by that machine gun fire. And uh, look at this. Everything is paying off. This defensive position is just beautiful. I love seeing this. This is just standard play. No tricks, no gimmicks or anything like that. Just really brutal defensive play. Uh, we got Terror Officer 
backed up by Bark and Volkswagen. just firing away here. I wonder if he's even going to micromanage a couple of uh, a couple of executes during all of this. Uh, probably not. That's a lot to ask. But you can see that even if they had pressed on from the north there, that uh, those mines would have uh, inflicted some heavy catches, but beautiful, beautiful move here. Rifleman from Armor Knife managing to get the flank coming all the way around here on the left, even surprising me, the commentator. I uh, didn't see those guys coming around, but unfortunately uh, for Armor Knife, the Fatherland HMG team can just pick up and move so quickly. Bam! Stepping right in the landmines and having to retreat on out of there. So really awesome flanking idea, and unfortunately did not quite work out for him. But man, Fodlane and HMG teams move so fast in friendly territory. I do love seeing them. They are pretty much, a, you know, Fodlane and HMG team is just a staple for any Axis army whatsoever, I think, at least at the current state of the game here. Uh, it appears I have a little bit of a bug where <laughs> the feel the fire of this machine gun emplacement is constantly going to be on my screen. Let's see if I can fix that. If I change over to Armor Knife. Nope, it's going to be there forever. Oh well, uh, the replays are not currently super supported. By the way, I was really surprised to see that they added the view replay function, the view last game function, and they didn't update this little graphic down here. This little Korean Company of Heroes logo is still there. Oh well, whatever, man. So, Grenadiers uh, pressing in, trying to decap this point. You're doing a good job at that, but now taking casualties, having to leave. And uh, looks like uh, Armor Knife's Browning, <laughs> sorry, Browning Automatic Rifle building Rifleman doing a pretty good job there. Terror Officer now moving on up, just doing his thing. Terror Officer is a total badass, and he is just dressed like a dapper gentleman, too. I like all that sort of stuff here. But fantastic. Look at these guys chopping down trees with the heavy machine gun. <laughs> ah, I love those guys. So here, once again, we have it. You can see this line in the sand drawn by Johnny Krypton. He's just taking cover behind, the, behind this wall and just, you know, He's okay with having only this territory. And now that he's seen a retreat, you can see these sprinting construction pioneers taking off, uh, looking to see if they can't snipe any of these uh, cap points over there. So that's kind of cool. More mines, more mines, and more mines going down. Interesting enough, uh, we'll see that I think because of the fact that uh, Armor Knife has taken so many casualties due to uh, snipers and heavy machine guns, he decided to just uh, stop and go right back for Tier 2 and get a weapon support center. So even though he got the supply yard, uh, no motor pool. And uh, I think that's really, I mean, you know, I would have rather seen him go for, I don't know, I would have rather seen him go for a Greyhound because I see everybody else do that, but at the same time, there's so many mines out there and things like that, I don't think he wanted to and he knew that he was going to need uh, more weapon supports and protect to be able to fight it off. So I'm definitely not going to question uh, question his uh, his building choices there because he is the pro, not I. But uh, we'll see. A little bit of firing on going on uh, out here, and I do like, check this out, the counter snipe getting ready to go. Oh, and just barely misses it. You can see he's waiting for the counter snipe though. Doesn't want to do it, but but check it out. We got a terror officer right here. Oh my god, I know there's I know there's skirmishing going on, but terror officer sees the sniper. Will he be able to get an execute? Will they get a snipe? No, unfortunately. But he does know that there's a sniper there now. Uh, meanwhile, we got a bunch of just random fighting going on over here. Distinguished grenadiers putting some pressure in here on the rifleman and a uh, single landmine still there by Johnny Krypton. Uh, terror officer just kind of hanging out. Uh, no word from them yet though. He hasn't called down any firestorms or anything. Uh, but constant fighting going on over here as well as the sniper. Just 15 kills for the sniper, killing everybody across the river. Distinguished Grenadier is going to have to retreat now, though. Taking a few two men to catch these, getting on out of there. And uh, just a beautiful combination between uh, the flamethrower engineers and the Browning, the Browning automatic rifle wielding uh, <laughs> infantry. I do like that. Uh, and now just kind of retreating. I think he feels like he's got enough accomplished and wants to get out of there. By the way, notice this. Other than airborne players and people who can use flare and things like that, you don't see... Oh, look at that! Getting a free kill and then just taking off again. He just totally snipes. Cap, cap, cap. Snipes one of their treating units and then just kind of uh, runs on away. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I like that. But I was going to say, uh, notice how much scouting this uh, terror officer is doing. You don't often see players, you know, intentionally scouting around in the front lines. And uh, frankly, for all the deep cover that this uh, terror officer has been doing, we haven't really seen him do too many kills there. So, a little bit of mortar warfare going on here. This is pretty interesting. You can see that uh, these mortars across the river now are just kind of firing in on the position of this heavy machine gun team, trying to get some kills there, that sort of thing. And it uh, looks like Johnny Krypton has responded in time with his own accomplished mortar team. Mortar teams between Axis and Allies are always kind of crazy because the uh, Axis mortars seem like they're so much more accurate. But uh, let's see, if, let's see if I can get some perspective on this situation here. So, a little bit of mortaring going on, that sort of thing. Uh, meanwhile, let's take a peek out here. We do have uh, the Volkswagen fighting away with some riflemen, and uh, haven't been haven't been following this at all. My apologies, but Vet Three Volkswagen. So. Uh, definitely, that's 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 one flag at least that he's spending all of his fuel on veterancy for his infantry. So that could certainly be the reason why you see a uh, 
a weapon support center for Armor Knife. So, anyhow, check out this mortar team.